hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to implement the search functionality on index view page in ASP.NET Core MVC Entity Framework application and here we got the final output to notice we got the text box control which is a search box and button control after that we got a href link to get all the employee details, employee records. Now search the employee j, search. So here we got, and here we got the results. The employee name Jack contains j. If I type h, jh, search, see there is no any employee font. Get all employee details. If I search with a Gmail, then I type search, and here we got the output. All the employee contains the email ID with the gmail.com. If I enter the employee name CHA search, so here we got the challenge details. If I type RA, And here we got two records found which contains the employee names or a words letters. R A N I Ronnie such. So here we got only the Ronnie details. Get all employees. We'll get all the employee records. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have shown from scratch how to implement the crude functionality, create a new record, edit the records, get the employee details and delete the record of the particular employee. Now in this video, I will show you. In the index view page, this is an index view page. I want to add a new search functionality above the table. So let's write the coding part. And this is a project we have just seen the output on the browser. In the index view page, before adding the search text box control and button control on this view page, first let's add a code in this EMP controller. And this EMP controller, and notice here we got the, all the action results index, create, edit, details. If you don't know how to implement the crude functionality, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that video link. Now let's continue the search functionality on this controller. My condition is I want to add the search filter functionality on the index view page. So I'm creating a new action result index method. The method name I'm adding the HTTP get method. So in this get method, in public async task, the task, the T result I'm getting, I'm adding I action result. And the method name is the index. Now in this index method, I'm adding the string parameter string emp search. After that, I'm implementing the view data to display the records. So view data between double quotes view data takes a string index I'm adding get employee details details is equals to emp search this parameter object name here after that declare a variable to write the query emp query is equals to from x in I'm adding underscore db which is my data 
uh, application db context object this one db dot then I am adding my table name which is employee table select x after that after the query I am adding the if condition if the records are found the search records are found I want to display only those records only on the index view page table if not string dot is null or empty in this method I'm adding this object name emp search emp query is equals to emp query dot I'm adding where clause in this where method I'm adding the lambda expression x con x dot the property I'm adding the employee name I want to search the records with the employee name which contains this data the record data we are getting from this emp search r r s dot x dot sorry x dot email contents emp search here in this if condition I am searching with employee name or employee email id if anything found I want to display those records on the table semicolon then add the return view return view method await and the, the object we are getting from this emp query I'm adding the emp query dot here I'm adding one method called as no tracking method as no tracking method which returns a new query and it will not be cached by this uh, db context object dot the result I want to display to list async method semicolon that's it this is the code to search the particular employee details with email or emp name let's save this file after that open index.cshtml now in this index.cshtml below this create new I'm, add I'm adding form tag now in this form tag I'm adding um, the method our method is a get method then I'm adding ASP action is the index page action index result the action name is index after that I'm adding p tag now between this p tags I'm adding input type is equals to Now within this p tag, I'm adding input type is equals to search placeholder enter employee name or email and the value is equals to the value we are getting from view data. Let's add that one this is the um, view data add here let's add at the right and the name is very important the name property here in the name property 
we need to add this emp search object name and let's add some style the width of the text box control is equals to colon I'm adding 500 pixels after the text box control I'm adding the input type is equals to search the value is equals to search the label of the button control let's add some bootstrap class button btn 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 I'm adding primary and this class we are, have added the bootstrap class to this button control then then I'm adding one simple extra fling to get all the employee records a ASP index is equals to action page is the index get all employees let's add some pipe symbol here uh, here the button control is not search is uh, submit sorry for that the input type is a submit let's save this file again Switch back to the browser. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the final output. Notice we got the text box control, which is a search box and button control. After that, we got a href link to get all the employee details, employee records. Now search the employee J search. See so here we got and here we got the results the employee name Jack contains J if I type H JH search see there is no any employee font get all employee details if I search with a Gmail and I type search and here we got the output all the employee contains the email ID with the gmail.com if I enter the employee name CHA search so here we got the challenge details if I type RA and here we got two records found which contains the employee names RA words letters and RA and I running search so here we got only the raw need details get all employees we'll get all the employee records that's it